It's not your friend, this one, is it? It's not my friend anymore, <laughs> no. Hello, my name is Richard Bertino, and today I'm at the Gosne Kitchen, where I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful Flemish. The first thing we're going to do is make some good dough. And to show you how to make a dough, we're going to use a mixer today. We're going to make a dough what I call in French levain levure, which is mean made with ferment and a tiny bit of yeast. So we've got some cold water at the bottom of the bowl. Then our ferment, uh, strong bread flour, five grams of yeast in here. I'm going to get my yeast and just rub it a tiny bit with a bit of um, flour. Some fine sea salt. It takes about 17, 18 minutes to mix. For the first four minutes, we're going slow speed. It's to really to blend all the ingredients together. And then we're going speed number two. So in French, this part of mixing is called the phrasage. It's when you blend all your ingredients together. So I just want to show you what it should look like before it goes in second speed. So there's no flour showing, no water. It's like a rough dough at the moment. So what I'm looking for there is for the dough to come nice and clean inside the bowl. No stickiness and the dough to be strong and elastic. We're about two minutes away, so it's nearly done, but not just, just done. That's what. So it's got that stretch and beautiful, but we need a bit more strength. And it's stick a tiny bit at the bottom, so another two minutes and we'll be done. So I'm waiting for it to be completely clean on the, on the bottom of the bowl, and then the dough will be ready. Very often you put the dough straight from the bowl, this dough in here, to a bowl, but you end up with no strength at all. So the trick with this is to take your dough Put it on your table with no flour. So take your dough and just give it a few flop, like that. Just give that strength and form that skin on the top. And now the dough is ready to rest. So take your flour. There you go. That's a light, supple, and elastic dough. Put it to rest in my bowl. And if it's nice and warm in your kitchen, then just a baking cloth on the top. And it's perfect. If you've got a bit of a draft, you can put a plastic bag. Don't use clean film, it's going to stick but then it'd be fine. And leave him somewhere warm, like an oven. Perfect. Good, while the dough is resting, we're gonna get all the prep done for the Flemish. So we're gonna slice some onions and some leeks, sweat them up a little bit with a bit of butter, then make a mixture of creme fraiche eggs with a bit of seasoning, blend everything together, and then we go on to our dough. So the first thing I do is slice my onions. So I put a bit of butter in there and then some leeks. I don't put the leeks too early. And the leeks will go the last minute tossed into it. So we keep the color of the leeks. So what I want to do is to brown the onions a tiny bit. So while it's going, I'm going to get my mixture of eggs. For one Flemish, you need one egg and about 100 grams of cream. So we're going to make two Flemish and stir together. So I always use a spoon to mix them together. Because I want everything to stay gloopy. I don't want to overdo it with a whisk. A pinch of salt, black pepper and nutmeg. Again, I always use quite a lot of nutmeg. So the onion just starts to caramelize a tiny bit. I'm happy with that. I'm going to put all my leeks in there and stir them in just a little bit. So the butter goes round all the leeks and this now goes into my mixture. A vegetarian version that you could do with a lardon, mushroom, anything you fancy really. That's perfect. And that's ready now to go on our dough ready for the oven. Okay, so now it's time to bake. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is, before I make the Flemish and finish it off, is to make a fougas. Now the fougas is one of those bread who looks fantastic. I did one on my book, on my first book, Dough. But not many people know where fougas come from. The word fougas starts with the letter F-O, which in Latin means fire, intensity. That, like the word focus, when you focus on something really hard, or four oven in French, or fornaya, focaccia, all those type of flatbread baked on the half of the oven. And uh, the fougas also in French was called souflam, under the flame. So uh, apparently it was like a tool for the baker to know the temperature of the oven. Now now it's fine, you got fermosta on your oven, it's quite easy to read, but before that there was no fermosta. So they used to cut a piece of dough, put them in the oven, different space in the oven, and then by the way they were baking, how quick they were baking, they could judge the temperature of the oven. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So our dough has been rested for two hours now. Voila, and take it off. And I'm gonna put it on the table with a mixture of flour and uh, semolina. So we have semolina first. Fine semolina is fantastic. Or you can use also some very fine polenta or maize flour. So I use my scraper 
and release the dough. So the dough is beautiful there. A bit more flour and simmer on top. And cut the dough in half now. So I'll keep this aside for my Flemish and this make a perfect for gas. So I'm gonna move my pointy hand over there. The base is there and I cut the middle. And then on the side. And there you go, beautiful. A bit more flour on the top. And I'm gonna lift it on my oven peel very gently. So be careful when you lift it, don't stretch it too much. And up with a pair of underpants. Little flame on the side. And then straight in a very hot oven. So make sure it wiggles properly. And then in a hot oven. So while it's baking, we're gonna make the flamish now. So again, a bit more flour and flat it up, a bit like a pizza. So the Flemish, the word Flemish, Flamenkouche in German, come from the eastern northern part of France. Now they're made with pastry or puff pastry or, or some, but before they always made with bread dough. And the bakers used to flatten the flat the dough on an on a oven peel, some crème fraîche and some leeks and just slide them in the oven. So it's a bit like the ancestor of pizza, uh, but don't tell the Italian. <laughs> Leave a little edge on the side a bit of similar on the top and this could be lifted like that and put our legs so the bread dough is very light you will lift everything it'll be a very light light tart a bit of black pepper and then some cheese so we're going to use some uh, good gruyere cheese you can use Conte is fantastic or good cheddar if you want to something with a bit of a bite so you can see the fugace is not done yet, but that's what we call part baked. So you reach about 90 degrees inside. The crust just starts to form nicely. So if you wanted to part bake your fugace, you can part bake it and finish them off a bit later. It's beautiful. We we'll put it on one side of the oven. And put our flanish inside. There you go. And that should take five, six minutes in a very hot oven. Right, it's time to take the fugas out. Oh, look at this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's a few burnt bits on the side, but that's part of the charm. But that crust on this. Oh, make you salivate straight away. That's beautiful, beautiful. Sizzling away, beautiful crust. Oh, bon appétit. see the crust nice open so it's not heavy when you got a good oven with bottom heat really give you a lot of heat look at this texture inside so when you chew on this one a lot of crust a lot of chewiness perfect the proof is in the pudding let's try it oh my mm. perfect love this so good nice and light Cheese coming through, nutmeg coming through, stunning, bon appétit. 